Last summer I got married and couldn't be happier, but before that my dating life was not necessarily smooth. No, it was not. So today I'm gonna take you way back to the land of my exes. They're like dinosaurs. Okay, my very first boyfriend and ex-boyfriend was in seventh grade. His name was uh, we broke up after a week, and then he took my school photo, drew a sperm next to it, and wrote angiosperm, which was the science lesson we were learning at the time. Next ex, ninth to 10th grade we dated, was He was my first kiss. Oh, but he tasted like Doritos because he always ate Doritos, but I loved Doritos, so that was cool making out with him. All right, next was all girls were obsessed with him, including myself, and he wasn't that attractive, but he bought everyone beer, so that was cool and I didn't drink, not me, <laughs> loser. Uh, I was also a virgin, <laughs> loser. He cheated on me on Valentine's Day while I was at a dance competition. Yeah, while I was backing my thing up, he was having his thing backed into someone else. <laughs> okay. I actually have a picture of this guy, this douche. 11th grade, dated a senior, Named He once got a DUI. Who gets a DUI while they're in high school? My reaction when he told me was, as the president of Students Against Drinking and Driving, do you know what this is going to do to my reputation? Which I actually think I said that close to word for word because I was really upset. I mean, I was in charge of making sure the students didn't drink and drive. And my boyfriend drank, drove, and got caught. We broke up because he cheated on me on his senior spring break in like Cancun or somewhere even maybe dirtier for all I know. And I was still a virgin, so again, the virgin always gets screwed. Shortly after I graduated high school, there was He was like the first guy who got me, and like, I think it was like the first guy I like actually really loved. But then I left him and went away to college, and that's never gonna work because like, College is so fun. You get to make your own waffles in the cafeteria. Oh, man, college was nuts. Who do we have next? I think this was my junior year of college. I started dating I thought this guy was gonna be it. We dated through our last two years of college and then I moved to Los Angeles and he declared that that meant he wasn't the one, I wasn't the one. Pause for burp. Then there was we met as actors in an independent film. Oh, so LA. <laughs> he accused me of cheating on him, which was not true. He read some things on my MySpace page. Some of you who don't know what MySpace is, Google it. I'm sure Wikipedia can tell you. I was like flirting with another guy on MySpace, but I hadn't cheated on him. I actually did start dating that other guy though, which was Nice segue. Not a great boyfriend. One time when my parents were in town visiting, he refused to meet us for dinner because there was too much traffic. Yeah, I cried a lot in that relationship, and if you're crying a lot in a relationship, it means you need to get out. This is my serious face, take me seriously. So what I'm trying to say is I spent my teens and 20s in relationships that weren't great, with guys who weren't right for me, but I feel like I needed to learn those lessons in order to really appreciate the amazing man that I found and ended up marrying. So I love you.